People are camping in downtown Chattanooga, hoping their actions will help families living on the street. The homeless population continues to increase across the country. It's no different here in our area. News 12 Stephen Dreyer takes a look at the issue, giving it a local perspective. The Interfaith Homeless Network held its third annual camp out to stamp out family homeless Saturday night. More than 125 people are at the Tennessee Pavilion helping those who are less fortunate. And people tend to forget the homeless are not only individuals, they are families too. I don't think they're as aware of homeless families. They tend to be um, uh, not as uh, visible in the community. So we want people to know that just because you can't see homeless families doesn't mean they don't exist. Over 50 families here in the greater Chattanooga area were living in a home just like this one year ago, but thanks to great organizations such as the IHN, they now have a solid roof over their head. About two weeks later, we entered IHN, and it was a blessing to us because we were able to you know, be together, obviously, and it got great resources there as far as uh, computers so my wife could look for work and stability so we could uh, get back on our feet again. IHN helped Raymond Koss and his family secure a home. He told News 12 what it's like having a new home to live in. It's really good. It's like, it's like I get my own room. More than $12,000 was raised at this year's Camp Out to Stamp Out Homelessness, and more is coming in every day. When we asked Raymond what words of advice he would give to those still hoping to have a home. Don't give up. And Raymond did just that. He says if you can believe it, then anything is possible. In Chattanooga, Stephen Dreyer, WDEF News 12. And as you just saw, there are our very own News 12 at 11 anchor Amy Catcher MC'd the overnight event. The camp out ends tomorrow with a 7 a.m. breakfast.